Okay, never before have we had a situation like now. The boomers are retiring, and more so than ever, we've got two generations that are moving in a very different direction as far as technology is concerned, as you heard from our last speaker. And this also creates a very good opportunity for you. First, we've got the Jetsons. We've got Jane and George who want all the latest and greatest in technology. They want all the DVDs, the streaming video, and everything technology has to offer, and they want it now, and they expect you to provide it. On the other hand, we've got Ozzy and Harriet. Ozzy's moved into the skilled care now, and he just wants the creature comforts he had at home. He wants a simple, you know, the simple programs he had before, an easy to use remote, and that's really as far as he wants to go as far as technology now. But we have to get him a little more involved and draw him out. So what this means is we have diverging technologies. On the Jetson sides, they want all the high tech, the DVR, the HD, the streaming video, and Ozzy and Harriet want a little more simplicity, a nice compact lineup, get their favorite shows, and a remote control they can use. The way we do this is we're gonna, we help you create what we call front-end technology. We segregate the content before it gets out there so we can provide Ozzy with the simplicity he wants and all the extras that the Jetsons are looking for, and we can do it all through your existing distribution. And with our new school system, for those of you that maybe had satellite in the past, we can control all this from thousands of miles away and change the content on a daily basis to meet your newly acquired residence needs. So all this is continually changing. And there are no boxes in the residence rooms. But on the type of technology used by the cable company now, in your, say, independent living apartments, they have to come in and put in cable boxes. They have to put in boxes in the skilled care rooms. And it's very confusing and creates a lot of maintenance. For the skilled care residents, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the DTA boxes that they've put in at every bed, and it makes it really difficult for the seniors to actually work their television sets. We've eliminated that, so all the seniors are going to need is their basic remote. Same thing in independent living. If you have an independent living apartment with, say, three TVs, now they have to wait for the cable guy to come out and hook up three cable boxes. It's a long wait, it's tedious, and it's very maintenance consuming for your staff. So if you don't ever want to see this guy again, we can go ahead and move to a system where everything's contained internally, there's no back-end technology, and it's completely invisible to all of your residents. And that's the kind of thing most of the communities are striving for, and we can still provide each with what they want. So for Ozzy and Harriet, we've got a very nice, simple remote control. Even someone in a low cognitive setting can operate. But for the Jetsons, hey, we've still got all the high tech. We've got the DVR. We can help them stream the Netflix and the TiVo and give everybody what they look for. And the best thing about it is when a resident moves in, just plug in their TV and it's on. No calling us, no calling the cable guy, and they're not sitting around frustrating waiting for service. So it's something that's really a benefit to every one of your residents. And also, we're going to give you your individual customized channels where you can go ahead and do the activity calendars, the menu schedules, and everything, all the information you want to put out to the residents, just like at the hotels. So you give them that personalized environment that takes those people in the skilled care setting and makes them feel a little more a part of things, because now instead of all the printed menus and things on the wall, all the information is brought to them. When you have guest entertainers and people come in or anything going on on campus, it's really nice now because we've got channels where we can create our own content. You can also put educational programs out to the residents. So the people in independent living, you can do continuing education from a local community college. And there are vast libraries online of senior education videos. And as I mentioned, out of turn on the live broadcast, what we can actually do is we can, even in a skilled care setting, we can broadcast into the individual residents' rooms. So the activity director could do, say, her morning exercises right over their TV. Nice process. As far as the internet now, this is the biggest challenge now because we're even trying to draw the skilled care residents into this. As the last speaker mentioned, Skyping with family is big and huge in getting them back into feeling like they're part of society. But you've got the Jetsons also who have been wanting to Skype with people. They post on Facebook. I mean, they're connected. They're not going to give up anything that they've had at home, and they want you to provide it all. And this is also creates a great revenue opportunity for your communities. So you've got the Jetsons now, we're trying to bring Ozzy and Harriet into a part where we can get them to Facebook with a family, learn how maybe to Skype. Even some 
communities now have residents Skyping with the doctors on occasion, so they can actually get that two-way right there from their bed. So basically, this has been our project to try and bring the Jetsons and Ozzy and Harriet back onto the same level playing field. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it.